Konnichiwa, I'm the Manga Man, and welcome to a short Manga Man Mondays video. Today we're talking about Adventure Time again, and I'm talking about the latest episode that came out last Monday. Well, actually it came out last Thursday due to the new schedule changes, due to I don't know what Cartoon Network is thinking right now, but who cares? I'm talking about the episode Food Chain. Why? Because it's being directed by Japanese great animator Masaki Yusa. God, I hope I'm saying his name right. Masaki Yusa is most known for doing mostly key animations for other anime series or movies, such as My Neighbor the Yamadas or Samurai Champloo, episode 9 in particular. The only series that he's had any significant control over as a series creator are series such as Keimono Zume, which is highly good and I highly recommend, Kaiba, a highly underrated anime series, as well as his latest venture, Ping Pong. This episode screams just gorgeous animation. Oh, if you are an anime fan like myself, or a fan of exquisite animations, this is definitely your Adventure Time episode, let me tell you. Finn and Jake go through this uh, transformation done by the Magic Man after Finn and Jake visit this exhibit that Princess Bubblegum is hosting about the food chain. Baby worm eats the plant, worm gets eaten by little bird, little bird gets eaten by big bird, and big bird gets turned into dust or soil for a new plant to grow, and then the cycle starts all over again. This animation does a great job in showing that cycling process as Finn and Jake go through all the different lines. They first start off as birds with a Excellent rendition of Mozart's magic flute. They transform into the big birds, where Finn actually tries to chomp on Jake as he's still a little bird, and then Finn actually dies, which is only the second most hardcore thing I've seen in Adventure Time. The first being Finn's arm being yanked off. This episode is not canon, so all the events that transpire in this will not translate back into any other episodes that will come in later. The same applies also to the Fiona and Cake episodes, kind of, as well as the episode uh, Glitch. I hope I'm saying his name right, but Jeremy Shada shows off his amazing vocal talents once again with the very final song, self-titled Buche, which is a gorgeous rendition and it shows a great example on how to correctly use autotune. The autotune isn't making up for his voice, but it is enhancing his voice, and that is how autotune is done, ladies and gentlemen. Very reminiscent of all that jazz. Masaki Yusawa has a lot of inspirations from a whole bunch of different sources. From Tex Avery cartoons to a special episode from the first series of Loop on the Third, as well as Castle Cagliostro, and if there's any man who's a fan of Loop on the Third, he's a fan of mine, I'll tell you that for sure. Overall, this is a great episode. I highly recommend that you check it out. Even if you're not a fan of Adventure Time, if you're a fan of Masaki Yusa's work, or if you're an animation fanatic, definitely check this one out. Hit that like and subscribe button. You can also follow me on Twitter, and I have a new Daily Motion account where I am uploading all the old episodes, now fully restored, unedited, and uncut. So be sure to be on the lookout for more episodes as I start to slowly download them. Now I want to hear from you guys. If you've seen this episode, what did you think of it? Did you like the radically different animation style? Or did you prefer the original animation style that we've seen in previous episodes? And is there any type of episode from, say, Adventure Time that you would like me to talk about? I'd be more than willing to look back at some of the older episodes and comment them on them again. And tell me what you think of these new Manga Man Monday vlog videos. Well, I'm the Manga Man. See you later, party peeps.